Hi everyone, this is Giri and in this video we are actually going to look at how do we connect any of our EC2 instance with our S3 service. So in order for that to happen, you need to have both S3 container and also EC2 instance ready with you. So I'm just going to go both of these services here and then try to create EC2 instance as well as S3 bucket. So firstly what I will do is I'll go to S3 container here and then I would create a bucket. So I already have created a bucket which is named EC2 connect bucket. So what I would do is nothing but I will do it again all over again for you. Create a bucket and then you give it a name EC2 bucket and then now you are just going to go on here and click on create. Okay, This is already existing. So I'm just going to say dummy. Okay. So while this creates a bucket, go to your EC2 instance and then you create the launch instance here. Okay. And then you give some name to your EC2 instance. This is S3 uh, EC2 connect. And then here you choose the Amazon Linux here. And, and go to the bottom here instance type. You're going to choose the free tire, free tire one that is t2.micro. And then once you have done that, if you don't have the login pair, like key log key pair, then you just create a one. I suggest you to create a one because you are going to keep this safe with you. Give it a name. I'm just giving a random name there. Then it's going to download in your uh, here and save it. Now go here and then launch instance. So uh, now this is going to launch the initiation of our EC2 instance. Now I'll go back to S3 bucket. And then this is the bucket that I have created, EC2 bucket dummy. And I'm going to click on this and then upload some content over here. So let me click on add files. And then now I'm just going to add this data.txt which I have created. Uh, I'm just going to upload here. And then now if I click on upload, this will get uploaded to my EC2, EC2 dummy bucket. Now this is launching, right? So let me go to the instances here. We, su we have successfully launched our EC2 connect. I think uh, this one, I think this is the one we have created. It is in pending state. It's going to take some time and then come in the running state here. We'll wait for, some, we'll wait for some time here, there. And then now we have, uh, we have our S3 bucket ready. That is EC2 bucket dummy, right? So once you have the EC2 instance ready, uh, EC2 instance ready and also S3 bucket ready with you. What you are going to do? You are going to go to the roles here, right? If you go to roles under IAM service, create on roles, and then now once uh, the low roles get loaded, we are going to create a new rule actually. Create a role if you look at the top, right? Now this is for the AWS service, and then this is for the EC2. Okay, that is what you are going to choose as. Now, if you go to next, and then now here I'll say S3 full access, something S3 full, Amazon S3 full access, right? So this is the uh, policy that you are going to choose. Click on next, and then give it a name, uh, access all S3. I'm just going, I'm just giving it a name, and then click on create role, okay? So this will create a role, creating role. Now let's go back here, instances, and check if it is running, running state. Yes, this is running. Our instance is running. We have created a role. We have our S3 bucket ready. So now I'll go to instances and then select the instance that I have just created now. And then I'm just going to go to the actions here and go to security, modify IAM rule. So here you are going to choose the one that you have just created. That is access all S3, right? This is the role that I have created. So I'll just choose this. You don't have to worry which I have at the bottom. They are all created before. So access all S3, I'm going to click and then update the IAM role here. So now whatever the role that we have created that is saying that access all the S3 means Amazon S3 full access we have given right policy. So that role is applied to this particular instance that is S3 easy to connect. Now uh, what I will do is nothing but I'll click on this and then launch uh, connect. I'll just connect to this instance. So I'm just going to create, con uh, click on connect. And then now this is going to open up a uh, terminal for my EC2 instance. Now I'm going, I will be able to, it's kind of logging into your remote EC2 instance. 
yeah so this is the terminal for the uh, instance that he has created now if i see ls there is nothing inside this because i don't have any content yet so if i try to check if i if i have access or not i'll just type aws s3 ls See, I have three buckets here, which means that from my EC2 instance, I was able to access all of my S3 buckets here. So which is the bucket that I have created? You don't have to worry about all that. We are going to push it exactly into the EC2 bucket dummy that we have created. So before that, as I don't have anything in my EC2 instance yet, so I will just create a file named index.txt. Okay, now if I check LS, now you can see that in my EC2, I do have index.txt. But if I actually go to my S3 service and then check on the bucket that is which I have created, uh, let me go here. EC2 bucket dummy is what I have created. I have data.txt file, right? So I want to access this data.txt in my EC2 instance here. So for that, what do I do? I'll just write AWS S3 copy and where am I going to copy it from? from EC2 bucket dummy and then what is that name data.txt if I'm not wrong. So this is the path to that file, right? Once you do that, you are, I'm, I'm just going to say that, hey, you save that as data.txt. Now, if I do that, now the download has been happened from S3 bucket to this instance. So now if I do LS, previously I have index.txt, now I should have both. Let's do ls and check. See, now I have both of them. Now, if I want to push this index.txt into my S3 service, currently I don't have this index.txt here, right? Uh, you can see there is no index.txt. If I want to push that from this EC2 instance to my S3, I'm just going to type AWS S3 copy. Now what am I copying? Index.txt. To where, where, where do I copy this? Inside S3, you have the bucket called as uh, EC2 bucket dummy, right? So that is what I'm copying. Now click on OK. That's it. It's going to upload this date index.txt uh, to your bucket here. Now, if I refresh this, you will be able to see that. See, we are having index.txt. That is how uh, EC2 and S3 can talk with each other. So this is a simple video. I hope you understood uh, everything. If you have any doubts, please leave them in the comment. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.